Hey folks, how's it going? I'm Josh. Today we're checking out Monkey Dust Pedo Finder General. Um, guys, please continue to leave your comments below on my video space if you're comments, and if you're a subscriber, check those out first. I also have a Patreon, but if you don't want to donate to it, that's all good. Just continue to like, share, subscribe, and comment below. That's all I can ask for. And last thing, this block here we put on the old daily motion. All right, so let's go and check it out. Okay, right. We know she's the detective story writer who created the famous character Adam Dalgleish. You've got one letter to get, so you want to go for an E, a Q, or a Z? Alan, Gene, take your time, get this right, and you could win that family weekend break at the Moathouse Hotel in Kidderminster. Good, sir, do you have a seat? Jesus, I guess all. E, Q, or Z? You've chosen Z. But don't worry, if you get it wrong, you've still got two more chances. What's going on? Who are you? Why are you interrupting my show? I am the Pedo Finder General. Mother Mary, protect us. I've done nothing. He was going to give us a family holiday to Kidderminster. You would induce these people to bring their children to your minster of kiddies? You would bewitch them into declaiming the name of the Unholy One, Pedo James. Actually, it's P.D. James. Silence! But you, you have no right to come in here! By the powers invested in me by News International, I pronounce you guilty of pedophilia. Guilty? Guilty? But there was no trial! Under the basic principles of English law, every man is innocent until speculated guilty. <laughs> the faggots. <laughs> My uh. little joke. <laughs> now that's entertainment. That's going on now. The whole innocent to speculated guilty. You can't recover if you're accused of something. Even if you're like, you know, if you're proved innocent later, later you're still screwed the rest of your life, man. You're just tarnished. It was good at the end, wasn't it? Banjo, you silly dog. <laughs> Banjo! By the powers invested in me by the hysterical, uneducated masses, I find <laughs> Banjo guilty of satanic possession. Was my best friend. He was a pedo dog. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir, you'll a have pedo to dog, this is ridiculous thing. <laughs> you would it's rather great. I paraded my sin semi-naked like yours before these innocent children. I am the pedo finder general. This is council property. You've got no authority here. On the contrary, by the powers invested in me, by prurient wishful thinking, I pronounce you a pedophile. On what grounds? It's written on your trunks. That says Speedo. My hand was covering the S. Silence! <laughs> There's no smoke without fire. Oh, no! Classic. Mommy, why is the grown-up pool all wet? Has someone reading it? No, darling. They're executing a pedophile. Hooray! That was good, man. Um... I looked at the date and I kind of forgot what it was already. What was the date? 2007, man. That's crazy because that happens now. With it doesn't matter who you are, but like the you get accused of something now, it's just it is what it is, man. It just be speculation, and nobody knows your whole life can be ruined. You can be accused of somebody who went on a date and the person came back and said, "Did you rape them?" And you can be, you know exonerate it and proven innocent and your life is still destroyed especially when it's the first story if it's the first thing you hear if it's a big name honestly whoever it is and it comes out that they may have done something um wrong people automatically like say oh yeah yeah that guy's a piece of shit and then when it comes out that he did something right maybe 10 percent of people see the information that comes out to exonerate that person but almost everybody sees like all the negative part because that's what's pushed in front of you the most is the the accusation um being proven innocent really doesn't mean anything anymore. Um, 
Because like I said, our people automatically assume. And with the, like you said, the uneducated masses, people don't really look into stuff like that. They just kind of take a lot of stuff at, at face value. Because a lot of people, I think a lot of people do that because they feel like they'll never be in that position because they've never done anything wrong. But like I said, a lot of people's lives can be destroyed because of that. Um, look at that kid. Uh, so I think he was like 15 or something like that. Um, 15 or... I think he mixed up with somebody else. But he was like, he was at like a... At like a rally or something like that and it looked like he was being rude to a native american protester but that was just a snippet that all the news stations were like put out there they treat his kid like he was like a racist and at the end of the day he's still he's like a kid but they're treating him like he's racist then he was exonerated i mean this one of the few cases where the, the kids are right now because he sued him for millions and one so now the kid's a millionaire because they kind of they ran his name through the mud and just about destroyed his life trying to make him out to be like a racist when he wasn't um and that seems to happen. Like, there was another kid who was, I think, is a girl who liked them who was, like, 15 or 16 or something like that. She was, like, 15. I think she was 15. And he was 17. And she sent him nudes. Um, he received the nudes. And some about, I can't remember the whole case. But essentially, like, because he was 17 going on 18 and she was, like, 15 going on 16, even though they were in high school together, the parents pressed charges. And now the guy's, like, a, what do you call, a sexual predator for the rest of his life. He has a record for the rest of his life. Um, even though she was the one who sent the pictures to him and because she sent it to him and what have you, like he was the one and the girl didn't want to press charge or nothing because she liked the guy, but it was the parents who was like that. So he got like, um, he's like classified as a pedophile or something now or a sexual offender. So as I'm saying, that can happen to anybody. You never know. That's why this is funny. This is really funny. It's back in 2007. So kind of a head of his time, but this happening now with a lot of people for, I mean, a lot more women are starting to get like accused of like, um, what do you call pedophilia now especially in schools they be, they become like predators and stuff and in some cases their women were exonerated but their careers were still destroyed because they're accused of sleeping with a teenager but at the end of the day it really didn't it didn't actually happen it was like rumors and speculation it probably doesn't happen it doesn't happen as often as when it happens like with guys and i'm not saying every case is a lie um a lot of stuff is the bad the sad thing about this is this stuff happens a lot people get raped there's domestic abuse happening constantly all this jazz, but then you have somebody who lies that overshadows all that. This has gotten, <laughs> this is going down a, a dark turn, man. Um, so yeah, I may edit some of this stuff out because I know a lot of people don't want to listen to me ramble about this kind of stuff. But it's it's just a sad. This is funny, but it's sad that it's so it's so true. It's all about how you how how you stage things and how they're interpreted. You can interpret anything as um. As long as you stage it properly, you can interpret anything as, like, um, racism or rape or pedophilia, stuff like that. It's kind of like the Joe Bill Burr made. He said he likes kids. He likes, like, a little baby who has, like, a fat belly and all that stuff. And he just want to run up and rustle their hair and say, you're so cute. But everybody's so accused of being pedophiles now, he's afraid to even, like, you know, play with the kid and stuff like that, like he used to anyway. Because people automatically look at you in disgust because you're a man who enjoys, like, playing with kids and jazz. Um, it just looks, so he just, he avoids them just because of that. Um, yeah. Alright, guys. This video is going on long enough. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.